the winners of Love Island USA 2023 are. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, it's me, it's a girl, but I'll be coming at you with a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about Love Island USA Season 5, Episode 37, or the season finale. Finally, after six long weeks, we're at the finale. You know, we know who our final four are, which are Bergie and Taylor, Carmen and Kenzo, Marco and Hannah, and Cassie and Leo. So basically, obviously, as of any finale, you know, they do their final four dates, they go on their dates, you know, and basically at the end of everybody's date, they're all official couples. Um, Cassie and Leo finally became boyfriend and girlfriend. Carmen and Kenzo were already boyfriend and girlfriend, but they finally told each other that they love each other. Marco and Hannah became boyfriend and girlfriend and Taylor and Bergie became boyfriend and girlfriend. So you have all official couples in the finale, which is probably the one of the first times that I think ever happened usually. So then, you know, we have the declarations of love, you know, you know how that goes, you know how that goes, to be honest. I just kind of move along to try to see who won. So to be honest, I wasn't really dwelling on these situations. So I was trying to see who won the show. Cause yeah, this, yeah. So we finally get to Sarah Highland. Sarah Highland comes in and basically tells us the rankings of who's who. So who came in fourth place was Carmen and Kenzo. And the thing about that is that them coming in fourth place is kind of like making me think that the final four vote was a bit iffy because i did say a couple of reviews back that i was like you know whoever's going home is going to be between carmen and kenzo johnny and and scott or carmen and kenzo and destiny and kyle but carmen and kenzo was definitely the bottom people and the fact that they didn't go home I guess it's because they want the final four just to be a little bit more, I guess, balanced or something like that. Because they were already like the official couple, so they didn't want to send home an official couple. But when you looked on a lot of different sites, everybody knew that, you know, there's a lot of signs at points that they knew each other before the show. Like they had like a more advantage of connecting to their relationship because they're trying to play, they're trying to run game on us. I've been saying this like so many episodes back. I said they were trying to run game on us. Even in tonight's episode, we um, hear Sarah Highland basically talking to Kenzo. He's saying that, you know, Carmen's the one. And who is like any other questions going to be asked? So I'm like, you're already talking about marriage when you guys just finally told each other that you love each other. You need to be so for real. And then I'm just like, a lot of things that adds up means that you knew her for a long time. Granted, you know, this experience brought them closer, but no, they knew each other before. They were trying to run game on us, you know, but at the end of the day, they came in fourth place and you know what? They're a couple, they're official, so good for them. In third place was Taylor and Berkey. And, you know, good for them, too. Um, Bergy, to be honest, he should have left since episode one. But he really stayed in that villa. He really growed, glued up. Like, he grew that beard out. He grew that beard out. And he definitely looks like a different person from episode one. Like, that does not look like the same old Bergy in that villa. That man, that Bergy looks like he's grown, Okay. He got a beard, he looks different, he has a like a fresh haircut, yeah, he looks like a different person. Anyway, they came in third place, so then it was down to Cassie and Leo and Hannah and Marco, and Hannah and Marco won. Hannah and Marco! <laughs> Yeah. 
Hannah and Marco won. To be honest, I feel like the sympathy edit that they showed in the last episode where he's like talking about his mom and, you know, he, you know, was crying over her and stuff like that and people were feeling bad. You know, I, I've seen a lot of people are just like, you know, just because of that, I had to vote for Marco, things like that, which is seen around on the media. And I'm just like, yeah, they really use all their stops, brought all the stops for that to for them to win. Because the voting window is actually two hours long because, you know, they're on a streaming service. So they're giving people a time to watch the episode and catch up and whatnot. So you have two hours to vote, two, two and a half hours to vote. So once people seen that episode and saw what happened and then like they got their chance to vote, they had enough time to convince whoever just to give Marco and Hannah the win. And I knew it was because of the sympathy at it. It was definitely because of the sympathy edit. Okay, Hannah, please open your envelope. Okay, Marco, let's check what's in yours. Okay. <laughs> oh, I would absolutely love to share it with Hannah and split the hundred thousand dollars. You know what? To be honest, <sighs> to be honest, to be all the way honest, out of the four couples, they were probably the only ones who actually deserved to win. Granted, they're given running game on us too, but. Out of all the four couples, they're probably the most deserving to win. And, you know, I have to give it to them. Even though I never gave them a vote. Mm -mm, none of my votes were to Marco and Hannah. I just knew from day one, numero uno, I was not voting for no Marco and Hannah at all. But, you know, what? out of these final four couples, they were definitely the most deserving to win. Granted, people were like, my gente Latino because of you know cassie and leo and because cassie you know actually brought a lot of entertainment to the show especially after cassie and more a lot of people tuned in to the show because of cassie and the whole cassie leo situation and even even the cassie and johnny situation so they're like oh cassie should win just because of the entertainment value and stuff like that but to be honest if cassie and leo did win it would just not be good going forward if they got the Millie and Liam type of win after he really messed up in Casa like he messed up in Casa like severely and then he got his girl back and then he's able to do two for one on a show which is kind of wild in itself and then if he got the win that would just been so messed up. Like, what are what are we teaching? But um, you know, they came in second, and you know what? It was a journey. They were, they were a day one couple. You know, he left her for Anna. Then they came back together, and then Castle War happened, and then they came back together, and they came to the finale and got second place. So to be honest, they had a long journey. You know, they're boyfriend and girlfriend now, so we'll see how that goes on the outside. But. I don't think they deserve the win per se mm -mm -mm. you know so basically that was the season you know marco got the hundred thousand dollar envelope and he of course decided to split it with hannah and they shared 50 50 and then at the end of the day they all jumped into the pool and they're all happy and that was the season finale <laughs> I would just like to say I'm glad that the US version is definitely keeping the, you know, do you want to skate, um, do you want to keep the 100,000 or do you want to split it? Because the UK version for like, I guess a few seasons now stopped it. And that was probably one of the reasons why a lot of people tuned into the show because everybody's like, oh, who's going to take the money? Who's going to take the money and run? Da, 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 da. Because I think on one, on one, you know, franchise, a version of this show, 
I think somebody actually did it. So people are kind of like wanting this to happen, you know, just to see like, oh, you know, somebody wins and then somebody takes the money and run or whatever. But I'm glad that they're keeping it on the US version because for the past UK seasons, they removed that and it's kind of like whack because they're just like, oh, you got, like if you win, if you're the top couple, you win automatically and then you obviously have to split the money. So it's just not, it's like you're not even gonna even touch the envelope. You're just gonna be like, oh, you won and you gotta split the money and that's it. But the envelope thing was actually pretty cool. Just of course he split it and you know, hopefully they keep it for more seasons because I do not want them to do like UK and stop doing it. I actually like that. And if you're really here for the money or really here for love, which is the whole premise of how this show started. I have no word on if there's going to be a, you know, reunion. They've been promoting Love Island Games, which has been, which is going to start November 1st. So we have two months of vacation because Love Island been Love Islanding from the beginning of this year, from Love Island winter season to Love Island summer season to now the US season and now Love Island Games. And then also we got to put in Love Island France because that was also going on as well. Even though it was very hard for people to watch watch this episode, that was also airing during this year too. So that's like five different Love Islands in one year. And I'm just like, we're Love Island. We're like, it kind of Love Island out, okay, for the entire year. But we're gonna have Love Island Games November 1st. And obviously it's gonna be returning contestants. So we don't have the lineup yet. So when we get there, we'll get there. Um, I'm not. Sh I'm still not sure we're gonna have a reunion. They definitely need to have a reunion after this season. This season brought the most drama out of any U.S. season. Like they have the most drama out of all the U.S. seasons. Yeah, this one was it. But anyway, guys, I'm. If we're we're done. Season five is done um see you for the reunion if there is one or see you for love island games but also i do other reviews so check out my other videos content whatever anyway guys if you like like the video like the video comment down below let me know your thoughts comments concerns and yeah subscribe to my channel subscribe anyway thank you guys for watching this video peace